Morning guys, Scott from SA Landscaping and I know what you're thinking, you're, you're looking at this and thinking is he really wearing that white shirt to go out pruning some hedges? The answer is no. Um, I'm going to look at some sites today, potential new client. Um, now I'm going to look at 30 sites today and you may remember on on our previous video I did mention that I was only looking to pick up four or five medium sized jobs this year. Now these sites that I'm looking for they're for a property management company and basically I, ha I haven't worked for them previous but um, it's, it's just an inquiry that came in so I had a quick look through the tender information and the reason I'm looking at all these jobs is because 17 of these sites are actually in towns we already maintain. So if we've got a guy already in a town, um, for instance, I've just looked at a, I've just looked at one job there earlier this morning. Um, on it's right next to one of our sites, and it'll take us all of probably an hour to to maintain it. So I'm quite happy that if I can pick these sites up here. I know I can be competitive because we're on the doorstep of a lot of them and we're already on the site so we don't even have to take our gear off the van it's already off and B like I say if we can if we can get them then I'm quite happy to uh, to do them all for the for the client now what he has said is there's two sort of regions with these sites they split up into two blocks and they'll be priced on two blocks they won't be priced on individual sites so it's sort of geographical areas which fits in because if we get say area A that's on the map I'm quite happy getting area A that's on the map because most of them sites are close to us um, and these are the ones that I was talking about if we get area B then I'm not so bothered because we can still make money on it and it fills in like I said this would this would be all we need this year and if I can book these in in a fortnight which is when the the tender has to be in if I can have all these sites booked in then that's it that's my um, that's my job done for the year and that's us all sorted with with work uh, yes one or two smaller um, one or two smaller jobs may come in just ad hoc jobs where someone wants something tidying up uh, we still have space for that but as for a contract basis where we go around on a fortnightly basis then that would be pretty much it so what the clients give us is a list of addresses um, which I'll not show you for obvious reasons but I will show you the specification which is this here Now what this shows is what they expect on a site, how many visits per month, so you can see on the on the specification through the summer you're pruning um, and you're grass cutting quite a lot, but then in the winter it's just going around basically tidying up and scraping moss off cut paths and things, and just a general tidy up. Now the first one I've just looked at there. Um, it isn't the best maintained and what I'll do once I get to a couple more sites now that it's light because it's been pretty dark when I've been looking at jobs I'll fill them some for you just to give you an idea of what I'm looking for and what I'll do is I'll make a note of each site everything that's wrong with it good or bad and then I'll go back and give the client two prices and I'll say look I'm looking at this site if they're all basically like the last site then I think the client's been looking for a bare minimum. But that's not to say that he has been looking for a bare minimum. That might be the contractor hasn't been very good and that's why he's approaching us. That's probably, from looking at the first site, that's probably what I think. Because there was a shrub area on the first site that's had the sides cut off. And it's had the back cut off around a fire exit, but they've decided just to leave the top of the shrub area. So I think that this potentially is somebody <coughs> Excuse me, I think this potentially is a customer who is looking for someone rather than just a pricing exercise. What I'll do is I will give them prices and the first one I'll give them is for basically what they get now and I'll just put this in just to cover myself that basically we'll come and cut the grass and we'll do bits of tidying up. And the second one which will be because of the size of these sites 
one good visit. What I prefer to do at the start is one good visit, even if I'm losing a little bit of money on that. Then after that, have it look perfect. So the second price will be to have this site the footpaths edged back to pin curbs and leaves in the winter, um, drains and things like that. Yes, we've got a specification, but at the moment, if all the sites look like that, the, the, the guy isn't following the specification who's doing it now. So that's what I'll do. I'll do two. I'll say, I'll explain that the sites aren't up to specification. Oh, sorry. Uh, just eating a sandwich and it keeps repeating on me. So I'll keep putting that the sites aren't up to specification and, and then it's up to the to the client to decide do we want to spend, I mean we could be less money, you don't know, or we could be more money, but it's up to the client to say look this, this guy's picked these faults on the site, he's going to put them right for this amount of money and then it's up to them to come back and say yes we'd like to go with you or, or no we wouldn't so that's that's pretty much how it is um, I think if they are like I say as an example I might have just picked a bad one um, I'm hoping I haven't but because if they're all like that then I definitely know that they have problems and they need uh, they need a new client a uh, new contractor but we'll see um, when we get to when we get to sites two and three and uh, we'll go from there. The problem with commercial sites sometimes where you work for property management companies is if that company is just happy to take the money from those customers in units and those customers don't phone up and complain about the grounds then this guy could have been getting away with less and less because he's getting away with it so he's not really bothered that's that's another thing if they're not going out to look at the sites and he's just giving a form saying look we've cut the grass and we've pruned the shrubs so that could be another scenario if they're not getting complaints they're not too bothered then if that's the case um, I'm going to send some photos over here that uh, might flag up areas that they've never seen and I might drop the person in it but at the end of the day if you get paid for something you do the job and if you if you're scrimping on it then you don't deserve to have the customers that's that's uh, that's the way I look at it so so we'll see how it goes um, a similar thing happened a couple of years ago we, we took a site over and there was a specification on the site and on the handover everything was supposed to be up to date and tidy for the handover so that there was no huge bill going to the client and allegedly the previous contractor had ticked off that he'd edged, he'd done all this, he'd tidied all the shrubs and everything. We arrived on site to take over the contract and half the jobs hadn't even been done. So we went back to the to the client and said, look, we're starting today, everything was supposed to have been done by yesterday. He said, oh yes, they've signed it off, it's done. I said, well, they haven't. Anyway, what happened there was they managed to hold the last payment from the previous contractor and he didn't want to come back and do any more so in the end we got paid at the start of the contract to actually do a big tidy up so we went in for a day and did the bits got that extra bit of money in the bank the site looked how we wanted it and how we would expect to pick it up when, when it was handed over and we, we since then we obviously have been maintaining it to that um, to that standard so that just gives you a rough idea a lot of people will try and do as little as possible if they know they can get away with it I mean we all like the odd job where we go to it and there's very little to do for money I mean I go to some sites and you've got shrubs down the back of sites and when you've priced it you've priced it to cut them three times a year but because there's very little light and things and they're very dry areas these shrubs don't grow enough to warrant to cut them three times a year so it is swings and roundabouts but like I say sometimes people do um, just sort of try and get away with too much and, and that's how you that's how you lose your customers but basically it's, it's about delivering a good service all the time and delivering that service that people come to expect and then they don't have to pull you up or they don't have to um, they don't have to make complaints and the major one is they don't have to go elsewhere so like i say with the specification there's certain things on there that you can get away with so for instance there's um, there's a bit on there for moss clearing for block paving now some of the sites where you've got trees growing you know you're going to get
get moss but from experience some of the moss clearing on there from some of these sites that I'm going to go and look at if they're in the wide open you're very rarely going to get a build up of, of moss and, and, and stuff yes you'll go around wait till the block pavement and the path edges every every couple of months but you're not going to have to do as much so there are um, there are good points some of the specification will be to follow to the book and like I say a couple of parts of it there you, you'll, you'll find that um, that you don't have to do as many visits um, now what you can do there is you can do something else so on the site if you're already getting paid for it you could say right I'll back them a few hours up and I'll do this these um, few little bits that, that um, might tidy it up so what you can do is you can bank those hours and you can go in over the winter and if, if that contract there is only down for the leaf picking once a month you could go in twice a month and just you could sort of it's it swings and roundabouts you would you've already you're already getting paid for that job so go in more often litter pick a bit more often um, or like I say a leaf pick and it's less when you go back to do the proper visit you were supposed to do but you're not so bothered about going the extra time because you're already on the you're already getting paid to to do work on the site anyway so so that's something else that we do um added value to, to clients as well as the visits drop there in the winter if it's only once a month if we're on the doorstep we would dip in and just check if there's any fallen tree branches and things like that and if there is we just snip them off we're not going to ring them up and say look we want paying for coming out to whip this tree branch off that's fallen down it's hanging against the back of the building we'll just do it and it's just a bit of added value to the to the client so like i say we'll go to the site uh, we'll go to the next site now we'll get a bit of um we'll get a bit of footage and uh, it'll just give you a rough idea of these sites aren't massive like I say, the only small sites, which is what the aim is, if we can pick them up. And it'll just give you an idea of what what we're uh, what we what we look at when we go out on these jobs basically. So stay tuned guys. So site number one, we've got some grass verge on the entrance. Like I say, this is one of the really smaller sites. And then, this is a prime example, we've got some shrubs here, it's just bordering the site. But as you can see, they've been faced off, but everything's just been left grown, so need some work. And basically just grass cutting again. to prune and then this is probably with a this will be with walk behind hand machine looking at this it's the same again We've got leaves on the paths and things that haven't been cleaned up so these are the these are the things that I'll be questioning um, as to what the actual what they actually want and then as we come round the back of the units these are the bits I was on about you've got tree branches and just general rubbish dumps or what sort of specification are they working to so entrance to site number two and we're straight off the main road we've got a large shrub area that's the same again it's been tackled at the front and trimmed up but very little happening at the top as well as that can get onto the footpath and as we come over to the other side same again, still lots of leaves on the ground and, um, and then we come onto a large grass area that's to, to maintain and look, chickens, free dinner just general grass cutting around the car park
the large grassed area at the back and a few shrub areas this side of the road There's a couple of gated bits down the back and this might be the best one yet sides have been done in a fashion and then as we approach the corner so to see just been hacked away and wasn't have been able to reach that guys unfortunately so can't reach it just leave it so another entrance to an industrial site and um, we've got large grass areas at the front to maintain with a couple of mounds in so a small amount of spinning on the site and same again we've got some shrub beds that they seem to do well for pruning the outside of the shrub beds and it's all pretty much tidy around the side but when you get to the top they just face things off they just don't cut anything so eventually all that's just going to be just grow up to the sky basically as we cross over we have got some more grass areas just basic grass maintenance at the side of the site just a general tidy up few more shrubs that have been pruned same again pruned aside not the top nothing done and then just drop down on the grass again small grass areas now things obviously to to weed and clear moss which are quite bad just general tidy up of the site and then we're just back on just edges of car parks really and verges down the side of the site beds over that side just require a bit of maintenance and then a large bit of grass here which the triple will eat up quite quickly so this is quite an open plan flat site I think most of this will be cut with with our triple and obviously you've got the edges where at the moment the they're just weed killers but we tend not to, to weed kill edges, we tend to strim them but each to their own. And then back around, just a big area. And things like this where you've just got a couple of mounds knock them down put a bit of seed on and it saves a lot of strimming the trees here probably want the branches lifting to make um, grass cutting easier but site there pretty good once it's uh once we get on top of it it won't be too bad and then obviously litter as well which I could have turned up yesterday that's not the seat it's been here that long another site a little gated access bit there a couple of small grass areas so it's very repetitive shrubs and grass like I say the moss everywhere it doesn't look as if it's ever been tackled I don't think it's looking at it same again just edges of grass along the stairs
and areas to weed kill. And then as we come round the back we've got paths, strips of ivy that have never been done looking at it either. So all these gangways are fire exits and I very much doubt as if they've ever been cut back in two seasons. And just a general tidy up of shrubs needed. And over the other side of the road we've just got a car park with two or three areas to maintain. And some general shrub clearance which then again leaves everywhere it should be finished now everything all the leaves should be really put away now really and then just these areas along here which probably won't grow a lot looking at it it's more moss than anything So guys, you've seen three or four sites there and after visiting the second one, the one where they pruned that shrub bed and because they couldn't reach, they left it, I thought I'd give the Severa a ring just, just to see what the situation was because how you, how you would leave something like that is beyond me when you've already done 95% of the job. and. This isn't a wild goose chase, basically these guys are off the job. The quality of the work they're delivering just isn't up to standard. And like I say, I, I spoke to him just, just to see where, where it was going and what the problems were. And they've had various problems, so that's why we, uh, we're pricing the job. As do I know if we price the job alone or do, because obviously we've come recommended. I don't know if it's just us that's pricing it, no, I'm assuming with it like anybody would, they'd probably get two or three quotes. But I've asked a, asked a few questions there, um, but like I say, you've seen the work, I mean, that these guys have just been trying to, trying to bank the money and do very little. Um, the, that, hedge, that hedge was probably one of the worst things that we saw today. But the overall appearance of the sites, there's, there's just, I think it's, it's one of those in and out, in as quickly as you can and get out of there. I think that's all that's been done because, I mean, the maintenance wise, the, the last one we looked at there where the ivory's over the path, I mean, that's somebody's fire exit. And yes, if it's, if you only, if you only do it once a year, that's fine. But I mean, you can see there the build up and everything that, that hasn't been done probably last season it probably wasn't done. Ivy's not fast grown. Well it, it, it takes a hold but it doesn't grow vigorously um, like that one was there. I mean another year and that'll be it'll be up the building. So like I say we'll get back we'll um, got a few more sites to look at probably Friday tomorrow's or cast some more snow and then we'll sit down probably over the weekend and come up with some price and then we get them back set off. Um, but like I said earlier in the, in the video, we look after a lot of sites where these sites are, which is a bonus for us. It means we can be very, very competitive on these. And hopefully, priced as a package, if you're competitive on the ones that we're, um, where we're already looking after stuff, we're a bit over on the stuff which we've got to travel a little bit to um, just, just as a rough guide the farthest from the farthest from our unit that we've got to look at is about 30 minutes but if we're uh, if we're slightly over on those I think the bulk of them we can do at a good rate so I would expect that the ones we're over on it will balance itself out I think Unless somebody else is in the same boat as us, which I know they're not, because most of the 
sites where we maintain the villages and other sites around. No, nobody else maintains in these areas, so then people have to travel there. So they've got the travel costs on, whereas we're already there, as we have to do on the other ones. So unless they're on the other jobs and they're using the sites where they don't go as lost as lost leaders, where they the pricing a bit higher, then they might be somewhere near competitive. But I'm fairly confident that we can uh, we can get some work out of this. And if it does come, then like I said earlier with the other stuff, we don't need to we don't need to really look for anything anything else then. So I hope this gives you a bit of an idea of what um, to look for on sites and specifications and the main one to ask questions don't feel as if you turn up to a site because you could have turned up to one of them sites there today and saw all them high shrubs that have never been done or the ones where they've just pruned the side and you could have looked at your spec and thought I've got to prune all these shrubs to a certain um, to a certain height and yes if you read the spec that's what you have to do so ask the questions and you will get the answers and it's the same with other things like the engine and things none of them sites we've been on have had the footpaths edge now the guy has said he wants it edge but if we go around and edge all them footpaths usually if you're going to get a lot off them maybe year one year two you know you're just going to have to go around and just tickle them a little bit and get very little off so the bulk is going to be in the, in the first year but after you get on top of it it's, it's going to be a doddle but don't look at jobs like that and think oh I've got to do this I've got to reduce this 16 foot hedge here down to a manageable height ask the questions first and like I say you'll get the answers so I hope the, the video has helped guys and I will see you on the next one thanks for watching again